I'm going to show you today how to remove the piston from a McCulloch Strimmer MD330 and this is the same as a lot of models as long as it's got this cover plate on the back because that means it's the smaller crank if you've got the pull start at the back it's a different crankshaft so I'm taking the piston out to check the piston ring first thing I'm going to undo is the air filter this is um, a Torx this is a Torx 25 or you can use a flat blade screwdriver so we're going to undo that two screws to hold that cover put the screws in the cover and you'll see there's a little air filter in there we're going to take our sponge air filter out and there's two little nuts in here which I'm going to undo I'm going to use a 10mm spanner but in actual fact I think it's an imperial size not sure what size but this does the job that now drops out of the way, the housing I'm going to remove the two pipes that go into the tank these are new pipes, they come off quite easy so if you've got an old machine they might be very brittle and break in which case they'd need repairing anyway and there's another one here and now I can lift the carburetor away and if we look here where the cable is there's a little the end bit of the cable has got a kink in it and you can just turn that and it comes off like that I don't know if I've explained that properly or not but we'll put that to one side um, I'm now going to remove a spark plug put that to one side as well and we've got a cover on here which needs to be removed there's three screws I've noticed there's one missing there but we can replace that when we put it back together this, bot, this screw at the back which screws into the, the, the crank cover can be undone it's a bit tight that so I'm going to put the torques on it just a little bit and it will slide off the one on the other side here has to be taken right out and it's got a, a little washer as you can see there's a washer on there Strange little washer, I'm not sure why, there must be a reason. And then this screw here, which is missing, obviously you would have taken that out, this just lifts off then. Okay, I'm now going to remove the fuel tank, and to do that we've got to turn the machine upside down. Just rest it on the bars. Rest it on the bars like that. Um, so at the back there's, there's a plate for the crankshaft and there's five screws to undo. This is where I wish I could pause it. I'm only using an iPhone. I'm not that clever at editing. Once those are all loose with the torques, I'll get my screwdriver on there. take that cover off and this is plastic um, it's the back of the crankcase so you can now see the piston there you can see the uh, con rod in there so and this mount also there's two rubber grommets on here I don't know if you can see that and they hold the fuel tank which is what we want to get off so we now pull the full fuel tank off out of the way there we go 
and what we're trying to do here is remove the cylinder that's held on with these screws here, four screws and I'm going to use the Torx on that One of them's got, um, one of these has got, I've just remembered I haven't got one of my tools. It's got this heat shield for the exhaust, which you've got to remember when we put it back together. I think one of these screws I can't get to. So I had a, uh, a little, that's this one, I might be able to just loosen it off. I can actually. I need to zoom in there where I'm undoing this one. Only three of these. The little heat shield I spoke about. And we're going to do this awkward one. All it's holding that on now. All it's holding the cylinder on now is one bolt and the piston. So I'm going to do this bolt. Now, I need to move this piston um, down, I think. So, I've turned that on the starter. I'm pulling the, uh, the starter cord now. To move that piston down, and then I can wriggle the cylinder head off. Okay, that's the cylinder head off. And now you can just pull this piston and con rod out like that. That's how easy it is to remove the piston. And I'm going to be measuring this, uh, measuring this piston ring, and hopefully finding it's worn and fit, fitting a new one. Thank you very much.